In this problem, we're going to prove that if A is congruent to B modulo N and C is congruent to D modulo N, then A plus C is congruent to B plus D modulo N. Let's go ahead and go through the proof. What's the, uh, the congruent stuff mean? I'll show you when we do the problem. So we'll start by assuming that A is congruent to B modulo N and C is congruent to D modulo N. So we'll write suppose. All right, this is an if-then statement. So whenever you're proving an if-then statement, you start by assuming this part, okay? So A congruent to B modulo N and C congruent to D modulo N. C congruent to D modulo N. Now we have to show that A plus C is congruent to B plus D modulo N. So before we do that, right, typically what you do in proofs is that you just write down what each of these things mean. And then from there, hopefully, like some clarity occurs. Let's go ahead and write down what this means. So since A is congruent to B modulo N, so what does that mean? The way I memorize this is A congruent to B modulo N means that A minus B is the multiple of N. So this means there are existing integers, say K, such that A minus B is the multiple of N. That means A minus B is equal to KN. Right? That's what it means. Uh, for a minus b to be a multiple of n, it's equal to an integer times n. We do the same thing with the other assumptions. So since c is congruent to d modulo n, what does this mean? Well, this means that there exists another integer, another possibly another integer. We have to use a different letter. I'll use r, such that c minus d is a multiple of n. So c minus d is equal to rn. Okay. So we're trying to prove this statement. If this is true, then this is true. So you start by writing down your hypotheses, and then we just run them down individually one more time, just for, like for added clarity. So A congruent to B modulo N means A minus B is a multiple of N. C congruent to D modulo N means C minus D is a multiple of N. We have to show that A plus C is congruent to B plus D modulo N. So what does that mean? So the goal here is to show that A plus C minus B plus D is equal to an integer times n, right? So a plus c minus b plus d is a multiple of n. So the natural thing to do is see, can, can we come up with that somehow? I think if we add these, if we add these, we should be able to get this. Check it out. a plus c negative b plus d. Watch this. So then a plus c, well, let's actually write this down. I think we can, we can, we can uh, yeah, if you add them, you get a plus c, right? And then here you get negative B, negative D. And then here you get KN plus RN. Right, just add them, straight up add them, right? Look, A plus C, A plus C, negative B plus negative D, negative B plus negative D, KN plus RN, KN plus RN. So this means that A plus C minus B plus D, right? Pull out that negative one is equal to, now pull out the N, K plus R times N. So again, how do we get this? We add it, right? A plus C plus A plus C, negative B plus negative D, boom. KN plus RN, and then pull out the negative, and we have A plus C minus B plus D. A plus C minus B plus D equals a multiple of N, where K plus R is an integer. So this part needs to be said. Why is it true? K is an integer, R is an integer, therefore K plus R is also an integer. So A plus C minus B plus D is a multiple of N. This is precisely the assertion that A plus C is congruent to B plus D modulo N. So A plus C is congruent to B plus D modulo N. And that completes uh, the proof. I hope that made some sense. Um, until next time, take care.